Hey girls, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna be filming a makeup haul. I have quite a few stuff from Ulta as well as um, Walmart. I took a trip also to Lush, my first time ever. And then I have some lashes that I wanna talk to you girls about that I love and I get a lot of questions about um, like on, on an everyday basis, like in real life and as well as on YouTube and on social medias and stuff. Um, they're only a dollar and they're amazing guys. So I don't know what I wanna start off with first. Um, I'm sorry I've been MIA. I've been trying to put up a video at least once a week, every two weeks. It's just kind of been really difficult because of work, school, my social life. And if you guys follow me on Snapchat, you guys might see that um, someone special is back in my life. A lot of you girls have been asking me about that through Snapchat. But you guys, most of you guys follow me on Snapchat. Like a good hundred of you guys have added me on Snapchat from YouTube. So I think that's pretty cool because we get to socialize through there. Um, so first we'll start off with Ulta, I guess, and Ulta was having a really cute bag um, for the month of October, it's Breast, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So the first item that I got is the Nair Hair Removal Face Cream. So this is what it looks like, and this was like about 5 bucks, and I've used it already, and it works really well. I used to use the Sally Hansen um, Hair Removal one. I just use this on my upper lip. I put it on for like about 10 minutes and then I get a cotton round and I just like smear it off and the hair is gone. It's pretty much magic and so much cheaper than waxing. And not only that, I hate waxing. Like I waxed my mustache once and like never again. It was worse than anything I've ever done in my life. Like hands down, like worse than any piercing tattoo, even laser hair removal. I got laser hair removal down there. I don't know if I ever told you girls that, but yeah. Um, if you guys want to see a video on like my laser hair removal experience, like how um, the pain level was and all that, just let me know and I'll probably do that for you girls. <clears throat> the next item that I got is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Mine is in the shade 103 Natural Buff. It's my favorite shade ever. I was having a hard time um, find this sh finding this shade because 102 is too light and 104 is too dark, so 103 is like my skin, like my perfect match. And I'm guessing everyone in Miami wants to be this shade, so it took me forever to find it, but I finally was able to find it. I love this foundation, it keeps me matte all day. Um, in a few hours, I do have to set it with powder just because I'm very oily, but I love it. It, it does what it's supposed to do, which is keep me matte. Um, so yeah, if you guys are looking for a affordable drugstore foundation that's gonna like keep you mad all day this one is the one that you should try because they also have um can you stop they're cutting the lawn outside my dog wants to start barking this my neighbor's dog is barking okay um they also came out with a dewy one so in case you girls are like dry skin girls you can try out the dewy one um <clears throat> only thing is they don't have a lot of shades in this foundation so i hope that you girls can find one in your um color Next item, oh, I got the BH Cosmetics um, 10 color eyeshadow and 4 color highlight palette. Um, so this is a collaboration with a fellow beauty guru here on YouTube. Her name is Carly Bible. I'm pretty sure you girls have heard of her. She has like about, I think like 5 million subscribers. Um, or like 4 million I think. Probably even more by now. But she's like really up there in the game. She's beautiful man. Um, she's so into like fashion and makeup and oh, I love her fashion and her makeup So she came out with a palette with BH Cosmetics and this is actually my first um, BH Cosmetics item So this is what it looks like the eyeshadows are beautiful. <clears throat> it has um, four matte shades actually I think it's five no it has four yeah five matte shades <clears throat> and then it has a bunch of shimmery um, golden um, eyeshadows I love the matte shades and the highlighters guys are to die for it has like a nice bronzy highlight it has a pinky highlight and it has like a peach highlight and a really pretty gold one I'm gonna swatch some of the highlights so you girls can see <clears throat> they're honestly beautiful and the packaging is gorgeous dude look at these highlights it's gorgeous I love this one especially right here it's like an icy one oh man I'm so excited I've I haven't bought in like a palette in probably a year now. I legit, I promised myself that I wasn't going to buy any more palettes just because I literally have like 30 palettes, guys. It's insane. Like I have like the Urban Decay Nakes, the Too Faced ones, the Lorac ones, <sighs> Z palettes. I have like all the drugstore palettes you can think of. And I wanted to get this one just because I love Cardi Bible. And it came with highlighters and it was super cheap. I think it was like $15. So... Yeah, since it came with high shadows and highlighters, I was like, who cares? Like, I paid like $30 for one highlight. At least I paid $15 and I get four highlights and like 12 eyeshadows. The thing that I got is the Rimmel London Scandal Eyes. 
mascara. It says that it plumps every lash and it's waterproof. This is like an OG mascara. I used to use it back in like my freshman year in high school. It was like five years ago. I haven't bought it in so long and I used to love it because it would give me like um, fake looking lashes like a, if I had falsies on and I love that look, you know. I like big extravagant lashes and this was only like six dollars so I'll let you girls know if I like this in a future video. Um, next item, oh my god, I'm super excited about this, is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray with Aloe, Herbs, and Rose Water. This was in the checkout line of Ulta, and it was only $5, and I was like, screw it. Like, I might as well try it. I've heard so many good people talk about it, um, especially one of my friends here on YouTube. Her name is SB Loves Makeup. She's beautiful. Her name's Siboni. Siboni? I never know how to pronounce her name, but she's gorgeous, and she literally blew up on YouTube. And she always talks about this, so I decided to try it out. And honestly, guys, I love it. And especially here that I live in Miami, it's so hot outside. I'm going to throw this in my purse and just set my makeup throughout the day. It feels so refreshing. And I also only... Not only use it as like a setting spray, I also use it um, after I put on moisturizer. I set my face with it as well. I just feel like it adds extra moisture. So yeah, it was $5 and I heard that the bigger one is only like $7 or something like that on Amazon. So I'm definitely going to pick up another one when I finish that one because I love it and it smells so good. If you girls don't like the smell of roses, you probably won't like it. But the smell goes away in like 0.5 seconds. So it's not a big deal. Next four items and last four items that I picked up from Ulta are lip products. So the first one is a lip gloss. This is from Essence. And I heard Juicy Jazz here on YouTube talk about the Essence lip glosses. So I decided, let me clean off the swatch because I'm dirtying my leggings and I gotta go out after this. Okay, so this is the Essence XXL Shine Lip Gloss. These were like $3 and this one is in the shade Nude Candy. So I ran out of a lot of my lip glosses. I barely have any, so I decided to purchase a few more. And um, this one was the first time of me trying it. It doesn't feel sticky, which I like. And it's just like a pretty peachy, nudie gloss. Um, it's kind of sheer, but I'm sure if I build it up, and my skin is really tan, so you can probably barely see it. But it has a, it smells like little girl makeup. You know when you're younger and you used to use like little girl makeup? But yeah. I'll let you girls know, again, if I like it in the future, but so far, I like it. And it was like $3, so even if I don't like it, who cares? I'll give pass it on to my little baby niece or something. Um, next, this is a repursage. This is a NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Tiramisu. I used this up a few months ago, and honestly, I love the NYX Butter Glosses. To open this, bro. Like, who invented this? I want to know. I want to know. I want to speak to the person who invented this packaging. This is outrageous. Um, so yeah, the NYX Butter Glosses, they have a huge shade range and they smell like cookies. It smells absolutely amazing and they're super, super pigmented, number one. Oh, they smell so good. Look at this color. How beautiful. Just an everyday um, pink color. So I love to use this by itself or as a... Um, Lipstick, um, like an over top lipstick. What is that called? I don't know what you would call that. Um, over the top lipstick? Whatever. I don't know. I use it on top of my lipstick as well as I use it alone, um, especially for work. I don't like to put on like, you know, really bright, bold colors. I just put on new lip glosses or new lipsticks. And a lot of the times I go for my next butter glosses. Um, last two items are lip liners, and these are from the brand Essence as well. They had like eight colors, I think, and I chose two. The first one is Satin Mauve, so the first one I'm guessing is going to be like a mauve color. Um, I don't know where to swatch. Not that I don't have anything in my collection like this, but you know, I like to try out different brands um, just to let you girls know if I like them or not. And I only own like Milani lip liners and MAC, and I think that's it. I could be mistaken. And then the next one that I got is 11 in the Nude, and this one looks like this one... 11 in the nude is the one in the bottom and it looks like my um, 09 spice one from Milani um, but it's a dupe if anything I'm gonna let you girls know if these like work and they don't like you know smudge out of the line or smudge period or if they stay in place or not so I'll definitely let you girls know in a future makeup Ferris video if I like them and if they're better than my Milani ones I so from Walmart I got quite a few items the first item I'm super excited about this is a <clears throat> Brow, brow, brow pomade. <laughs> um, so this is from the brand Salon Perfect. Again, I heard Juicy Jazz talking about this on YouTube. 
uh, quite a few months ago and I never picked it up and then I had saw it when I went to my local Walmart so I was like might as well pick it up so I got mine in the shade dark brown and it's just a pomade you know how Anastasia Beverly Hills has one but it's like $20 or $25 and this one was only $5 so I'll let you girls know how I like it um, I really want to learn on working on my eyebrows because um, I haven't been really proud with them in the past few months Although people always compliment them, but I don't get it. Like, I'm not in love with my eyebrows. <laughs> um, next, I got two be beauty blenders. No. Next, I got two Real Techniques sponges. These are hands down my favorite way to apply foundation concealer. Um, it's amazing, and they're only $5. I actually got one for my sister. She just forgot to take it, so I'm going to have to give this to her. But yeah, they're $5, and they're better at applying foundation than any of my Sigma brushes, Morphe brushes, Real Techniques brushes, like... Brushes period. I just love the sponge. Like I love the way it leaves my foundation. What I do is I um, run it under water and then I soak it and then I'll drain it. Like drench it, drench it. I don't know what it's called. Where it's not soaked. Where it's just like um, like I don't know what the word is. I cannot talk today. <sighs> where it's not like um, you know dripping water. So I drain it and then I I'll, I'll like pump a pump a foundation and it leaves the beautifulest finish of my foundation ever. Like, better than any brush. Next is a repursage. This is the Maybelline Last Sensational Mascara. This is about $6. And I got mine in the shade um, Black is Black. Hands down, fair mascara. Um, let's see if the Rimmel one that I picked up from Ulta wins this one. I'll let you girls know. But, yeah, I love this one. If you haven't tried it, run your butts to your local Walmart, CVS, Publix, wherever you want to get it. Because they sell it literally everywhere and it's amazing. So, next I got a mask. This is the Feeling Beautiful by Freeman Charcoal and Black Sugar Polishing Mask. Um, I tried this once with my sister. We both didn't like it. To be honest, like it left, like it didn't even dry up like how a mask is supposed to like tighten your skin, which those are the masks that I like that tighten your skin. Um, but it did leave my skin super soft once I washed it off and it smelled really good and since it has sugar, it's sort of like an exfoliator. Um, but I tried it once, I can't say much about it. It didn't work in wonders, but I love to do masks like at least two times a week. Um, I try to at least do it two times a week and like switch it up because I love face masks and that one was only like three or four dollars Like all of the masks from that brand Freeman are super affordable Next I picked up another lip product. I forgot that I got this. I'm kind of excited <laughs> This has been sitting in my bag for like a month. So this is the Milani <clears throat> Amor matte lip cream. I have one that's like a brown color. Oh my god. I love it. I wear it all the time um, This one is in the shade 12 loved and it is so beautiful girls like Look at this. It is gorgeous. I don't have anything like that in my collection. I only have anything like something darker or lighter, but this color is beautiful. Like I would describe it like sort of like a plum raspberry color. It's beautiful and the finish of this is matte and then lasts us all night. Like I promise you, this is not gonna budge whether you eat or drink anything, it's not gonna budge. Next, I just picked up a repurse. This is the Equate Beauty Oil Free Eye Makeup Remover. This is like about five dollars. A few dollars cheaper than the Neutrogena one, and who doesn't like to save a few dollars? I do. Um, so, yeah. And to be honest, I didn't even know I had a backup already. I already had a backup. I found it a few days ago in my drawer. But whatever. <clears throat> Better to be safe than sorry. Um, so that's all from Walmart. I'm getting tired of talking, guys. Um, next, I'm going to show you guys the one item that I picked up from my local Lush. <clears throat> I don't have a Lush actually anywhere near me. It's about like 30 minutes, 40 minutes away. <clears throat> at a mall in Miami. It's called Lincoln Road Mall. Um, so I went in there and I asked specifically for a mask that is going to help my oily skin. You guys can see I'm getting oily already. It's bad. Um, so it says she recommended two and the other one it would be it would only last for two weeks um, and it would have to be refrigerated and it has a lot of food products so I would have to throw it out in two weeks and to be honest I'm not going to finish any mask in two weeks. So I got the other one which is which was this was the mask of Magna Minty. And <clears throat> this is a face and body mask. And let me see the ingredients. Um, it has benton gel, chloean, honey, talc, ground aduki beans, um, peppermint oil, a bunch of different ingredients. It is vegetarian. And so cool. It says like who it's made by. It says made by Kevin, used by January 7th. So <sighs> it smells so good. This is what it looks like, guys. I'm super excited. I'm super excited, literally. I cannot wait to come home tonight, take off my makeup, and do my mask. Probably gonna do a mask with my best friend. Oh my god, it smells so good, guys. And refreshing. So this one was, I think, like $20. Let me check. 
which is pretty pricey compared to like the Freeman ones, but the Freeman ones weren't doing anything for my skin, nor were like the Sephora ones, like the, the sheet masks, so I decided to try this one. So it came out to $16. Not that bad, honestly. Um, I don't mind investing in skincare. And then lastly, I have a few lashes that I want to talk to you girls about. It's the same pair, but I picked up all of the ones that they were that they had left on the shelf. I bought these a few months ago, but I, I don't think I ever mentioned it in a YouTube video. Um, so these are the Color Mates eyelashes. This is in the number 53003 bold. So this is what they look like. Now I know they look a little overwhelming, but once you have your smoky eye or your wing liner, your neutral eye or whatever type of eye look you want, these lashes go with any look and they literally complete your look. They're only a dollar. Can you believe that guys? So I know people invest a lot in lashes, but for what? Like these, I wear them about four or five times and they're perfectly fine. They still look like how they did on the first night that I wore them. They were a dollar and every time that I go back to Dollar Tree, I try to find them, but they're like nowhere to be found, so I'm going to have to order them online. So if you find them in your local Dollar Tree, definitely pick them up because they're amazing. Guys, I got my freaking claws back. Finally, these are, um, I asked for them to do it, um, what is it called? Coffin style, but not much. Like they only did like a little bit of coffin because I like them to look natural. And honestly, I love my acrylics. Like. I couldn't live without them. That wraps up today's video. I hope you girls enjoyed. Make sure to follow all of my social media because I'm very active on social media. Since I'm not uploading a lot lately, I just try to be as communicative as I can through Snapchat and stuff with you girls. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye!